guys and welcome to the third episode of Dino Pet. So as you can see right now, it's in the evening time and I'm filming the dinoflagellates whilst they are in the tank. But today is day 13 that they've been in there and they're overdue a feed. I should really actually feed them soon but I will need to empty them. You'll see that later on in this video. But what I thought I'd do right now is show you live how they glow up. So you may have noticed in the last video there were like snippets throughout the week when they were glowing up. I'm going to do it live right now. So this is how things look right now. I'm going to go and turn off the light and alter the settings on this camera and I'll see you in three, two, one. Oh, there you go. It glows. I notice when you first tap it, it glows and then the second time it does a little bit but as you can see it's getting harder and harder to see. So now I'm going to actually shake it. Wow. <laughs> So as you saw it was glowing up quite nicely. I did find though that the light diminished quite quickly compared to earlier in the week and I think that's just because they haven't had as much light. So the last few days have been quite overcast and grey, really just dim, so that might be why. However I've definitely seen a population increase because in the daytime I will see clumps of orange which is a plankton all grouped together. So that leads me on to this section. Let's look at how these dinoflagellates reproduce. So dinoflagellates reproduce asexually, meaning the offspring come from one single organism. Now I've done a lot of research into this and from what I can tell, dinos reproduce a bit like cells. So take one dino for example. To produce offspring, it will go through a phase called a mitotic phase. During this time, the dino will split into two individuals. A protective membrane will cover the two as they develop. These can technically remain in a cyst if the environment is not suitable. Now this could be an air bubble, but if you look in this photo, amongst all the dinos you can see something around that may possibly be a protective membrane or a cyst. I'm not really sure, but it's cool if it is. Once fully developed, the two individuals split. So from one dino, you now have two. Those two will go on to do the same, so you'll end up with four individuals. Then again, they will do the same, and you'll have eight individuals, and so on and so forth. The rate of reproduction depends on a few things, such as how much light and darkness the dinos receive, as well as how much nutrients they receive. Okay, so today I'm going to be moving some of these into a test tube because that's the best thing I could find that I can still move around with them in. So what I first need to do is make sure they're all shaken around so they're evenly distributed around the water because at the moment they have collected in certain places. They tend to do that in the daytime, probably to get as much light as they can possibly get. And now, here comes a very delicate procedure. I'm going to be using this pipette thing that I got with my sea monkeys. I don't think I used it with sea monkeys. I may have done. We get quite a few of those. And I'm um, going to get a load up in here and then put them in the test tube. Dinos get their energy from the sun. They photosynthesize, but instead of using this to produce food for themselves, they use that chemical energy to produce light through bioluminescence. The dino food that comes with the dino pet includes seawater and essential nutrients to keep your dinos healthy. So now the dino pet's a little bit empty here, so we may actually see a lot more brightness now they have much more room to move in, but we'll wait and see tonight. We now also have a second culture in this test tube, so that's a cool thing because you can just keep replicating these. It might take a little bit longer to get the population up but unlike something like say the sea monkeys or the triops and things like that you don't have to wait around for eggs to hatch and so on so we could just keep replicating this it's pretty cool so tonight we'll see whether these both glow up okay so it's in the evening let's see if you can oh there you go it is glowing that is the actual dino pet now I'll see with the test tube, this might be harder to see because it's smaller, but let's see. Oh, it is actually glowing. 
Okay, so what we're going to look at now is the test tube. I've noticed this one, as you can see it glows, it's a bit out of focus, sorry about that, it's uh, kind of dark, <laughs> so I can't really see, but I noticed that this one definitely doesn't glow as long as the Dino Pet, and that might be why the Dino Pet is partly designed like that, I'm not sure whether it was just made to look like a dinosaur, but in comparison to the test tube, the Dino Pet definitely glows up a lot longer, whereas this just sort of moves as the water. And if we look at the Dino Pet, look at that, so bright. Once again, it's, sorry it's out of focus, I will try my best. If anyone's ever dealt with a macro lens, they may know that the depth of field is very annoying. Oh, did you see that one glow? Oh my god, it's still glowing. This is what I mean, I can finally capture it. I'm not even moving it right now. And it's like a starry night, like they keep triggering each other off. So they're glowing up on their own. Oh my god, I'm so glad I've been able to capture this. You see that? They don't even need me anymore. <laughs> you see them all? Oh my god. Like, I see this every night and I'm still amazed. I'm really just glad I got this on camera. So if we mix it up... Hello? There they go. It's like so quickly, so I'm going to do it in slow motion now so you can see it again. So as you can see, they're definitely glowing a lot more. I feel like them triggering each other off came near the end of the second week, start of the third week. So it's definitely new, definitely didn't happen at the start or at least I didn't notice it. And in person, it's a lot brighter than what you're seeing on camera and you see a lot more of them glow up. I wonder whether the amount they're glowing is to do with them reproducing so there's more in there or because what you're looking at right now is the top of the dino pet and I'm wondering if whether there's less liquid in here there's more room for them to move around I don't know but it does say in the manual that they will get brighter and brighter as the weeks go on now you may remember at the end of the last episode I said about I'm gonna do some art with them I haven't done it in this episode because the reproduction and feeding sort of took up too much time so I may do that in the next episode but also I was wondering if you guys had any questions um, about the Dino Pet maybe you want to see something that you haven't seen so far wondering what it does if you do this and that and just any questions you might have about the product that I might be able to answer I may do that in the next episode so leave your questions below I might not like reply to all of the questions because I'll use them in the next video so yeah also, after the last episode, so many people wanted me to get a chicken. <laughs> I'm not getting a chicken, but I do have a video of one because when I was on holiday, we stayed on a farm and there was a chicken at our door, so here it is. And get rid of the chicken. Hello, chicken! If they aren't your thing and you prefer penguins, we actually got to feed penguins, go in their enclosure and everything, so here's the penguins. In this video, just penguins just walk past. <laughs> And if that isn't enough for you guys and you are more into the mammals, we also ended up going in a ring-tailed lemurs enclosure which was amazing and they had a baby in there that had only just really appeared on the day we went. Like it was so young it had been really close to its mum and this one time it decided to come out and play with the rest of the group. So I've got only a small few clips of that, but here it is. <laughs> so that was a little treat for you guys. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and thank you very much for watching.